get talking now. The federal government has initiated a process to resolve the challenges uh, bordering on the supply of price and pricing of liquefied petroleum gas, otherwise known as cooking gas. This follows concerns over the hike in the price of LPG from about 700 to 1,000 naira, uh, in some cases, in some parts of the country. But what is likely to change with government intervention in the sector going forward and other issues surrounding this pricing? I'm being joined by the national president of the Nigerian Association of, Petro of Liquefied Petroleum Gas Marketers, and that's Mr. Olatu Bosun Oladakbo. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Compliments of the season. Well, I wish you the same. It's nice being on your program. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Well, you are here. Uh, the issue of gas. We, we, are, we, are, we are back to this this issue again. But first, I would ask. There was a lot of projections. We even thought it was going to hit 1,200, 1,500 at a point per kilogram. But what happened? Tell us what's the position of the market at this time. Excellent. I think the last time I was at this studio, I was then calling attention of Nigerians that if government did not intervene, that the price of liquidified petroleum gas, popularly known as cooking gas may be as high as 1,500 per kg, kg before December. And that noise was made loud and clear. And the government actually believed in what we are saying because the parameter then was actually showing that the price is moving northward and it could cross that bar. And as a listening government that actually has the interest of the common Nigerians, government surprisingly, for the first time, swing into quick action Right from the filler, the president, and a, a lot of thanks to President Asiwadibola Metinubu, he really gave a marching order that people are complaining that price of gas has gone up and the price must come down. People should be able to afford. Two, there must be no scarcity prior to the festival and after the festival. So people should be able to have access to gas. And whatever has to be done to bring the price down must be done and let the price be stable. Getting that marching order, the minister, for gas, the authority, especially the special, the advisor, special advisor okay. to the president on energy, um, that, Olu. that young Olu, madam yes. is doing wonderfully, Olu. Olu. Yes. She apparently called me factually every day to monitor the price. Is it coming down? What is the trend? How is the price? Is it accessible? Mm -hmm. and, everything. and I think all these efforts actually resorted to why we didn't get to that projection. There's nothing that could have stopped us getting beyond that projection, if not the timely intervention of government and the agencies of government that saw it as a good hint and they acted promptly on it. And that is why we just have to appreciate them. And more importantly, the chairman of Federal Inland Revenue, too. Mm. Because government, what did they do? They summoned all the interested parties, all the stakeholders, particularly the producers. Meeting was convened. And we are all the terminal owners and stakeholders who express. There are challenges. challenges. Among their challenges are tariffs that are being high, import duties, constraints they have in bringing gas into the country, and even the promised bond that they used to custom, which run into billions that has yet to be crystallized and they have to pay. When they analyzed all this problem, immediately it was presented to the president. The president has his signature to it. And even with that promise note, mm. that is substantial, mm. that it is waived. And now giving them matching order that all gas equipment, all the accessories, flange, vessel, tanks, even gas, should be bringing into the country with import duty free. And fat should be suspended both on imported and local producers. This is awesome. Because the implication of that, it will strengthen the expansion of gas usage. More investors will come to expand and to build. So it means gas will now penetrate into the old news and cleaning of Nigeria. And the rural area, you see people now setting up gas infrastructures because the cost of setting up become reasonable. Okay. You also see that overall, the pricing must come down because government has done what they can do. And to whom much is given, much is required. It is now left on marketers, the terminal, and even my members to reciprocate by making gas affordable to people at a very reasonable price. It is true. I'll follow you up there now because many will say, talk about stock. We hear people saying, we have this stock before the announcement was made and we are going to sell at this price. So, and they keep, sometimes keep selling. So, what are you also doing, like you said, to monitor and make sure that it trickles down to the man on the street? Yeah, as an association that actually orchestrates this campaign. Yes. Because we are in front line. And thank God that even people that do not believe in us, they are actually reaping it today. 
because they are the ones that actually import massively. Yes. The only thing I will beg is the full implementation of government directives, which I'm coming to that. Now, coming to the issue of price, we had a meeting, general member, meeting of my general member, December 20. Okay. And where we showcase what government are done. Price is already coming down. It's coming down at terminal where we buy. And I mandated all members, please reduce the price. There's no LPG bottling refilling plants in the South and in Nigeria now that is selling 1,000 above. No. In my plant, I don't sell that. Majority of my members sell at 900, 850. It's at 1,300. Before now. Before now. So throughout the festival, the only item that the price did not go up during this festival is cooking gas. Even such water water went up. Mm. So one way or the other, water water government up. intervention kind of worked. It's, 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 it's miracle. Mm. It ensures stability of product. The product is, every plant, every tank is wet. Mm. The product is available. The price is stable, reasonably. It's still coming down. It can still come down. I'm coming to that. We are not, yes, we need to we are not yet to, it needs to we, come down. Where will we will be. But it will still come down. But the good news is that we did not get to 1,800, 1,500 projection, which was real. If there hadn't been that intervention, by today we'll have buying 20 metric tons of gas for 18 million. Today, price is 14 point something million. So there's a gap of about 4 million as we say. And that is why Nigeria now could buy gas. If you feel from plants, I'm not talking of both sides, feel from plants, my members, you cannot buy a kg at 1,000. It's lower, 850, 900, in some places, 870. And that's the savings, huge savings. But we can do more, considering the kind of opportunity the government has given us, and his agency and his advisors, what they've done, then Nigeria can enjoy more. Mm. Uh, uh, now, uh, let me also take you through this now. M many will say we want to export gas. And some will say, have we satisfied domestic use before we start to think of exports? I'm thinking, why can't we try to saturate everywhere, wet the whole ground like the world in the oil and gas industry, in, before we now start to think of exports? Yesterday I read the news that we're exporting to South Africa very soon. It's achievable. We can meet the local demand. We can also export. Our reserves. The kind of reserve, deposit reserve, have. natural reserve we have is enormous. We are, we are ranked ninth in the whole world. True. That means we have, and with our population, we have enough to consume. In natural sense, our consumption level is low in this part of the true. world. So if we produce massively, we have to produce to export. Take, for instance, NNG. Only their product that is meant for local consumption is the butane. All other new and other natural gases are being exported in large number because we don't have infrastructures. We don't have opportunity to consume all here. Mm. So there's no harm in exporting because exporting will also boost our foreign earnings. And that is the focus of the minister now. He wants to boost the exporting, then also stabilize the indigenous market. The indigenous market is very crucial. And that is why we come here. By developing indigenous markets, make them stable, then it will be affordable. People will be able to buy and the price will be reasonable. So we, we land and the trade seven is almost yeah. getting concluded. Yeah. 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 That will also boost supply. There are a lot of natural producers. There are people that are producing in the country before who do not sell to local markets. During the intervention of the minister and the directive of the president, they have been compelled to, to sell. sell. Those ones are not selling. And that is why you will see all tanks are wet. Everybody has... When there is availability, there tends to be that um, stability. Yeah, the stability will be there. The price naturally will come down. Yes. But given that there are some modern species costs mm. in Nigeria that has to do with inflation level, mm. that is what is distorting the price. Mm. If we are going by price of energy, not talking of incidental costs, yes. because there are some implicit costs these people run that make their costs fine, ordinarily, we should come very, very low. We shouldn't buy more than, about, say, 10 million, 12 million. Wow. For 20, 20, 20, 20,000, and that comes down to about, say, um, 600, 700 uh, per kg. kg. And it is achievable we can do that with what the opportunity the government president has given us now. Because to be sincere, it's, it's, it's awesome. The kind of waiver, the kind of things. If you see the breakdown of that thing, it's awesome. It covers everything. Truck trailer head, mm. your tank, your valve. Flanges, everything you need to assemble your plants is import yeah, duty all free. All the equipment are import, the import duty, duty free. free. And it's been signed by the if, minister. If so, yeah, we have yeah, implementation, yeah, full implementation of the custom, because that's another challenge. Yeah. Are, of course, they, we, we've caught the attention to, the, to the, it that they should please carry out the instruction of the president. If they implement it to later, then definitely 
it will be a good development. People will bring a lot of infrastructures they need, facilities they need to put things together mm -hmm. and it will boost the gas expansion. And the issue of CNG and all that, we will not have challenges in that respect. Mm -hmm. Because before now, I had imported card, I mean, tank into this country. I know what I passed through. I know what I passed through, and I know how much I pay. I still have friends that the items are still in the ports. So, but if this is fully implemented, the problem will be solved. How do we get there? Let's get to We must. Point. The president has shown directive. Mm. The question now is for people, the, I mean, the government agencies, That's to it. ensure compliance. No bureaucracy. No bureaucracy. But we are saying it hasn't been gazetted. It's not yet on the system. These are kind of bottlenecks to frustrate a good idea. If government make a pronouncement, say, this plane must be demolished before night, before you say that promise will be demolished. But what if we then make something that's positive, that we touch our life? Why do we delay darling? Why do we frustrate? So those are things that needed to be done. But in fairness to the president, the minister, and the SA, as particularly the chairman of Federal Inland Avenue, Sarko yeah, Sadeji, exactly. did play a good role. He assured full compliance with VAT. Wow waiver from the staff, and it has been awesome. So with all this, there's no way price will not If price does not want to come down, then the regulators, the authority, will now enforce. And that means we are willingly calling for regulation of price, which I don't pray for. Mm. Government will have seen they've done their own. But if we have failed, after taking all this advantage, the bond has been waived, which is drawn to billions of naira that they're supposed to pay. And government said, no, don't pay. Mm. So if we know now they're supercate, by making gas now affordable to Nigerians, then the government have every right to wage a big hammer and say, mm. okay, you people want him to regulate the price. They are regulated, price, which is not the best for the industry. So mm. it is for our, at our own end, at the terminal, at the I've called that many of my members. They are here me now. Let's bring the price down reasonably mm. so that we can widen the net. Utilization level can go up. The industry can grow. And when it grows, we can't be talking about how to meet supplies. Not that you have product people do not buy, or people just try to go and cook with wood or whatever. We, we people are in the I mean, United Arab Emirates talking about fossil fuel energy. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, these, are things, these are things that we need to put in place. Yes, yes, yes. To make sure the emission is greatly reduced. reduced. And the only way is this. And the president has walked his talk. What he said there, he has done with this kind of waiver that he has given a directive. If everybody supports him, we will get there. Mm. So there should be no bureaucracy, government officials, government uh, agencies should support this. Support. Because we need to bring the price of gas down to, you know, firewood should not be used anywhere. And also, you know, this fuel PMS thing and moving away. But let me ask you this question, okay. which I think you should also want to react to. Dangote refinery should be on stream anytime from now. I think they've gotten the top shipment of crude. And of course, gas will be one of the products that we'll get from this. But Akot refinery is also expected to come on, yes. on board on stream. Now, what do you, what impact will this have on the market and pricing. Thank you. Um, it's a good development that the, the finalists are coming up. More are still on the way in terms of profits. Yes, profit yes, 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 And yes. even for the public sector. Dangote is going to produce gas, but we've contacted the farmers and association because we were actually interested in offtaking. But we were told that the gas is meant for their fertilizer company. Okay? So bulk of LPG they will produce is actually to be used for the fertilizer. And they also need to generate energy. It therefore means they may have a very less quantity for commercial purposes. It's a private institution. They can decide what they want to do. But what is coming out from the protocol refinery is also they are going to produce LPG. Before the breakdown of that refinery, they do sell LPG and they sell directly to our members. Now that they are coming on board, and that is what the minister and everybody should hook on, even NMPC, they should ensure that LPG coming out from the refinery are actually distributed to the stakeholder, the practitioners, not portfolio investors. Because if portfolio investors go and corner that product, the price will still go up. All registered plant owners should be eligible to buy. We do buy from them before. Now gas is coming up. Let us have a direct allocation. So we don't pass it on people that we increase the margin. And before the market, my price gets to the market, the price will be high. So the only way is to make sure the channel of distribution is streamlined and we cut off middlemen, then it will be okay. That will also boost supply. No doubt about it. And it's supposed to make the price to drive southward. Mm. Mm. 
So what is the entire outlook now for, for, the, for, for, for the sector? Government intervention, uh, support coming, uh, votes I from think, the NLNG and the, everywhere? The outlook, Tolu, the outlook is beautiful. The president has set the pace. With this kind of waiver, because this is fantastic. Mm. It hasn't been like this before. When you have details of this equipment, from A to letter Z of all the facilities in gas, I say, import duty free. Gas himself, import duty, fee 80. That's a whole tons of words. So with the kind of producer that are coming on board, 37 will soon be completed. Um, Portaco Rivanaris, almost completed by January, they are going to do commercial production. Yeah. Dangote is coming up, they are going to have supply. And a lot of awareness will come. Back. I just pray that the price index in Nigeria has a little change in terms of inflationary level because the purchasing power of people is also a factor. So if the small that cannot afford, it will become an issue. But we are going to have supply. Once the price is stable and people can afford, the, the, the net will be widening and more people will come in and the utilization level will go up. Because I want our utilization level to go as far as what is going on in Morocco. Morocco has the largest utilization in Africa. So we can go as high as that, even surpass that. And the only thing that will drive that one, supply, then affordability of the price. So all these things, what will make 2024 to be a very prosperous year for the industry. I'm aware that the, president, the minister is also working on how to develop indigenous markets, because that's another angle. Where we are developing this, and we also create opportunity for our people in terms of employment, in terms of the growth in the economy and the contribution. We not just develop everything and for the foreigners. The indigenous also must develop. That is how we can have multiply effect that can do fail into greater GDP. So the indigenous market start to be strengthened and developed. Mm. Message to your members also at this time, because I know how it used to be before. Many of them have invested so much in this business, and uh, it's been up and down, flip-flops. So what will you say to them? The hope, is, the hope is there. They're all price now. Stability of products, price is coming down. Mark you, the price has not gotten to where it's supposed to, particularly in the mm. southern part of Nigeria, mm. the south-south and southeast. I'm sure the government, the supporters of governments, their special advisor and other the regulatory authorities are also working on that so that the price can come down at par with what is in Lagos. The price will come down. So members should please be hopeful. The product will be available. Price will be stable because as a marketer, what concerns us is stability of price so that our plan and budget will not be distorted. So if price is stable, you can make a forecast, you can plan, you can have a kind of holistic analysis of your business. Yeah. So that is quite feasible 2024. So members that wanted to sell their plan before, I tell them, don't sell. The hope is there. New light, new day has come. I must thank you so much. I will follow up with this by God's grace in 2024 because I know our next conversation will be next year. Thank you so much, National President, National Association of Local Fat Petroleum Gas Marketers, so a lot of us, and do have a great uh, festive season. Thank you, Tulu. All right.